The place God calls you to is the place where your deep gladness and the world's deep hunger meet. Your vocation in life is where your greatest joy meets the world's greatest need. Here is the world. Beautiful and terrible things will happen. Don't be afraid. Resurrection means that the worst thing is never the last thing. One life on this earth is all that we get, whether it is enough or not enough, and the obvious conclusion would seem to be that at the very least we are fools if we do not live it as fully and bravely and beautifully as we can. Listen to your life. See it for the fathomless mystery it is. In the boredom and pain of it, no less than in the excitement and gladness. Touch, taste, smell your way to the holy and hidden heart of it, because in the last analysis all moments are key moments, and life itself is grace. Vocation is the place where the world's greatest need and a person's greatest joy meet. You can kiss your family and friends goodbye and put miles between you, but at the same time you carry them with you in your heart, your mind, your stomach, because you do not just live in a world but a world lives in you. Pay attention to the things that bring a tear to your eye or a lump in your throat because they are signs that the holy is drawing near. Faith is stepping out into the unknown with nothing to guide us but a hand just beyond our grasp. The magic of words is that they have power to do more than convey meaning. Not only do they have the power to make things clear, they make things happen. Doubts are the ants in the pants of faith. They keep it awake and moving. A miracle is when the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. A miracle is when one plus one equals a thousand. The life I touch for good or ill will touch another life, and in turn another, until who knows where the trembling stops or in what far place my touch will be felt. For as long as you remember me, I am never entirely lost. Where your deep gladness meets with the deep hunger of the world, there you will find a further calling. The sacred moments, the moments of miracle, are often the everyday moments. Listen to your life. All moments are key moments. Justice is the grammar of things. Mercy is the poetry of things. The world says, the more you take, the more you have. Christ says, the more you give, the more you are. When you remember me, it means you have carried something of who I am with you, that I have left some mark of who I am on who you are. It means that you can summon me back to your mind even though countless years and miles may stand between us. It means that if we meet again, you will know me. It means that even after I die, you can still see my face and hear my voice and speak to me in your heart. If the truth is worth telling, it is worth making a fool of yourself to tell it. My story is important not because it is mine, God knows, but because if I tell it anything like right, 
the chances are you will recognize that in many ways it is also yours. People are disturbed not by things but by the view they take of them. They may forget what you said, but they will never forget how you made them feel. Go where your best prayers take you. You can't be too careful what you tell a child because you never know what he'll take hold of and spend the rest of his life remembering you by. What's lost is nothing to what's found, and all the death that ever was set next to life would scarcely fill a cup. Even the saddest things can become once we have made peace with them, a source of wisdom and strength. Listen. Your life is happening. You are happening. Think back on your journey, the music of your life. The pride that keeps us from forgiving is the same pride which keeps us from accepting forgiveness. Whenever you find tears in your eyes, especially unexpected tears, it is well to pay the closest attention. To be wise is to be eternally curious. Pay mind to your own life, your own health and wholeness. A bleeding heart is of no help to anyone if it bleeds to death. The grace of God means something like, Here is your life. You might never have been, but you are because the party wouldn't have been complete without you. A Christian is one who points at Christ and says, I can't prove a thing, but there's something about his eyes and his voice. There's something about the way he carries his head his hands, the way he carries his cross, the way he carries me.